court taken there by Brandon Weber. He brings it up to the Bulldogs. Throws on the right side to Butler. Uh, pulling high on front of the lines. There's a lob underneath to Bushu. Two men on him. Gets a shot off. And got fouled. He did not make it, but he got fouled uh, probably before the shot. Yeah, they're going to be out of bounds, they say. So Bushu drew a double team as soon as they got the ball into him. And... Uh, Foul is called. It's on uh, Nathan Brewer. Inbounds to, to uh, Wines. He shoots a three from the corner. It's no good. Rebound cleared out by Brewer quickly. Wildcats bring it down. Brewer to the hole. Nice play by Nathan Brewer. Give and go pass. He got the return, put it up left-handed, and got fouled by Ryan Bushu, his first, the first on the Bulldogs. So a chance for a three-point play for Nathan Brewer as he puts the Wildcats up two to nothing here. There's a two-point lead, their first of the game, and he makes it a three-point lead and a three-point play. It's Brewer three, the Bulldogs nothing. Bockler brings it down for St. Anthony, takes it out top of the key, drives down the paint, dumps it off on the side to Weber, can't shoot, back out to Bockler. Bockler looking, goes on the side to Weber. Weber fires it out front out of Derek Storm. Left side in the corner to Weber, fakes the three, moves the baseline, nothing there, needs some help. Back out to Storm, it goes in the paint, off to the side, Bushu, kicks it back out, passed up a pretty good shot to Bockler, to Storm, and St. Anthony sets it up. I'm not sure what they're running here. They seem a little probably feeling out the Salem defense here to see what's available for him. Bockler gets it out to Storm. Storm, nice pass underneath the lines, little jump hook, way short, no good. Bushu rebounds, puts it up, no good. Rebound this time, falling down by Weber, no good. And Rhines tries to throw it off of a Salem player, and it's intercepted by Evan Crakey. Crakey gets it underneath the Brewer, shot knocked away by Bushu, kicked out front to Crakey. In the corner now, they fire to the open man, he can't shoot. So they set it back up to Crakey, top of the key. He goes right side, nothing there, fires back out top of the key to to uh, Sager. Danny Sager now gets it on the left side to Crakey. Uh, on the corner to Appleby. First time he strikes the ball. Gets it back to Murphy. There's some elbows thrown inside and bodies go flying, but there's no whistle. Salem still looking for the good shot here. Bounce pass on the side goes to Crakey. He shoots a three. It's no good. We got a whistle underneath. And we got a push on St. Anthony. Maybe on Wines. Let's check it out. Yep. Mike Wines picks up the push underneath, trying to get rebound position. His first. Bulldogs second. Is that right, Greg? That's correct. Okay. Salem's balled in down under the basket. They flip it in the corner there to Brewer. He gets it out front to Applegate. We got a whistle. We're going the other way. And I think this time Salem got called for a hold. 30. 3-0. So Nathan Brewer, who's got all the points and now picks up the second foul. He's, he's doing it all. He's got three points and two fouls, and he's going to be replaced by Dustin Morris, a 6'2 a junior, comes in for Salem. He replaces uh, Brewer, who picked up the two fouls. St. Anthony's ball. They haven't scored yet. Bockler has it. Spins it out of trouble. Needs some help. Gets it over to Weber. Weber goes baseline. Off the glass. No good. Morris with the rebound for Salem. Throws it out on the side to Scott Murphin. Murphin brings it down for the Wildcats. In the corner they go with it to Sager. Left side they go to Murphin. Still no openings for a shot, so the Wildcats work it on the perimeter. They lead here 3-0 over St. Anthony. Early in the basketball game, we've got 10 tonight. Sager has it, gets it to Morris. Back out front it goes to Hinton Applegate. The 6'2 senior, bounce pass in the corner. Gets it to Crakey underneath. They try to get it to uh, uh, Sager. His shot rejected by Bushu. He gets it back, shoots again, and misses. This rebound cleared out by Weber to Storm. Drives for the layup, and it climbs out no good. And he got fouled on the shot by Scott Murphin. And Derek Storm will shoot a pair. Sal Salem being very patient on the offensive end, looking for a good shot. And then Bushu tipped it away. They got it back and missed. Bulldogs brought it down and a foul. Who's that foul on? Murphy. Murphy is first. Free throw by Storm is around and in. So Derek Storm gets the Bulldogs on the board here with 5.07 to go in the quarter. And here comes Aaron Phillips, a 6'4 senior, in replacing Brandon Weber in the Bulldogs lineup. It's 3 to 1. Storm back to the free throw line. His second effort is around and in. Stormy shooting 82% from the line is two out of two, so he'll up that average a bit and makes it a one-point ball game, three to two. Salem did lead three-nothing. 
Crakey brings it down for the Wildcats. Gets it to the corner to Morris. Or rather to uh, Applegate. Now it's loose on the floor and they got a jump call. Possession arrow favors Salem. 4.52 to go in the quarter. It's 3-2 in favor of Salem right now. And they've got the ball on the side of the court. Crakey will inbound it for him. Gets it in uh, to Murphy. Murphy, top of the key, works against Phillips, left side. Gets it to Sager, the alley oop, knocked away by Phillips and taken out of the air by Boucher. Good job of Aaron Phillips anticipating, and then he gets called for a travel as he moves it down court. To stand over there, lobs it deep in to Craigie. 4.35 to go in the first quarter. It's a low scoring 3 2 ball game. And the corner goes to Applegate. Nice move underneath the Morris. And Morris falls on Wines. He went up, Wines hit the back, and Morris fits on him. Wines gets up grinning, and I'm glad because he could have he been pancaked there pretty good. And Morris is huge. But it's a turnover as Salem loses it out of bounds. Storm has it. Goes cross court to Wines. Back out in front to Bockler. To Storm. Drives. A nice lane. Puts it up left handed and scores. And there's a move, Derek Storm. Probably wouldn't have made a year ago. Nope, nope. Much more aggressive. I see that left hand when he goes to hold. Four to three now. St. Anthony takes the lead in traffic. A nice shot up and in by Scott Murphy. Scott Murphy on a nice move. Makes it 5 4 Salem. Here's Wines to the hole. Gets covered. Wow. <laughs> Morris says, What was I supposed to do? John Bowles says, Maybe uh, block it, huh? <laughs> Well, he gets called for the foul, does Mr. Morris. His first, first team foul number four. All righty. 3.52 to go in the low-scoring first quarter. Now Storm has to tie his shoes, so they wait for that. And Mike Wines, an 85% free-throw shooter, goes to the free-throw line for St. Anthony, and he bounces it in. His first one is good. Ties it at 5-5. Five five. Now Storm and Phillips change places along the lane with 3.52 to go. We're tied at 5 in the opening quarter. Wines next one is up and in. He's got them both. He's got two points, and the Bulldogs lead it by one, six to five. They've led a couple of times by one point in this ball game. Scott Murphy brings it down for Salem. The Wildcats move it into the corner. Murphy loses the dribble, now has to pick it up. He needs some help, needs some help, needs some help. And they call, they don't call five, and Morris makes a nice save on the side of the court. He hustled after it. They were in deep trouble, but they saved it. Now they go in the corner with it to Frankie. Underneath to Morris, he can't shoot. Back out front, it comes to Murphy. Murphy, right side, fade away 12-footer. Out, no good. Rebound lines for the Bulldogs to Bockler. He brings it down for St. Anthony. Chris Bockler up on a jumper from 12, in and out. No good. Follows up his own way. Uh, the rebound. His shot no good. Lines has it. Tries to pass it out. It's lost. And we got a foul called on Derek Storm. We're out there right now. That foul on Storm was his first. And it'll be Salem's ball to move down court. We got three minutes to go here in our first quarter of play. 6-5. St. Anthony by a point. Mulvaney gets it on the side. Finally to Sager. Underneath to Morris. Back to Sager. Has trouble with the dribble. Back to Morris. A bounce pass to Craigie. And we got a whistle. And a hold on Salem away from the ball. Somebody moving through the paint gets called for the foul. That's number ended in a three. Three something. 34 on Blue Blair. Kenton Applegate, 34 on the foul. All right. Eight. And into the ball game comes uh, Ethan Bryant, I believe, number 21. Uh, I'll have to double check that. No, it's not. 32 into the ball game. Daniel Thomason. Here's Bockler for three. It's good. Chris Bockler hits a three-pointer. He finally got open and took that shot. Nails it. Makes it 9-5. Just like that, St. Anthony's got a four-point lead. John Bowles is putting a lot of players in there running at me all at one time in this first quarter. Pass underneath. And there's a foul on Matt Seymour in the ball game for St. Anthony. Seymour tried to knock away the shot. Of, uh, Dustin Morris. He did knock it away, but he picks up the foul, and Morris will shoot two. Seymour came in, and uh, Wine sets down. Free throw is no good by Morris. He'll try again. Let's see. We got Bockler, Phillips, Storm, 
Seymour and Bushy out there. Free throw's good by Morris. His second one, that's his first point. Makes it nine to six. Bulldogs with the ball. Bockler long three, good again. Chris Bockler from downtown Effingham nails it. And it makes it 12-6 in favor of the Bulldogs. And John Bowles wants a timeout. A 30-second timeout, so we'll be back in half a minute. He nailed it. His three-point shootings really uh, sparkled in the last couple of three ball games. He's picking it up, so is Wines. Right now, Wines is on the bench. 12-6, St. Anthony leads. Salem's got the basketball. Baseline, Sager can't shoot. Out in front of Crakey, and Storm almost stole it. Crakey has it for Salem, and there is a... Brandon Weber back into the ball game for St. Anthony. Drew, Bockler, Weber, and now Phillips out there for St. Anthony. Salem runs it on the perimeter. They get it to Craig. Seymour had it, lost it, taken away by Salem. Wildcats control the uh, basketball. Thomason has it on the right side, moves in for a jumper before he can take the shot, a whistle, and a push is called on the Bulldogs. They put 4-1 on the board. Anyway, we'll check it out. Salem's ball and, uh, the, after the personal foul. Wildcats get it out front to Mulvaney. Underneath, there's a shot put up, no good by Thomason, and a whistle, and we're going the other way, and Salem picks up the foul. Apparently, that foul was on Ryan Bushu, his first. 12-6, Bulldogs lead. We got more fouls, and we got points here. We're uh, scrambling to get some points. One minute to go in the first quarter. Wines has it for the Bulldogs. Looks for some help, gets it out front to Weber, fakes the three, moves into the paint in traffic, back to Bockler. Bockler off the side to Wines. There's his three. It's good. He hits his first three-pointer of the night, and it's 15 to 6. St. Anthony moves up to a nine-point lead. Salem with the basketball. This is Mulvaney underneath. And his layup rims out no good. Phillips grabs a rebound. To Bockler, to Seymour. Seymour on the three. Cuts it loose, no good. Front of the rim. Lines hustles after for St. Anthony. Needs some help. Now hands it off to uh, Bockler out in front. Bockler with the basketball. Clock shows 17, 16, and Coach Nieberg, he says, let's take the last shot of the quarter. Wines has it way out in front. Gets it off to Chris Bockler. Bockler goes right side, still on the dribble. Pops a two. Bockler hits a two. He's got eight. And that's the end of the first quarter. And the Bulldogs, after a sluggish start, finally get it in gear here. That's a minute with St. Anthony, 17. Salem, six. Two out of it. Five for 13 for the I'm sorry, five for 13. Two for eight for two-point land and three for five for three-point land. All righty, and four out of four for the charity stripe, and there's a push inside on Thomason. So Daniel Thomason picks up a pushing foul for Salem as the Bulldogs are trying to work it on the perimeter. Uh, Bulldogs had uh, eight rebounds in that first quarter and two turnovers. Salem shot 25%, two out of eight. One out of three from the free throw line, four turnovers and two team rebounds already. Matt Seymour at the free throw line for the Bulldogs. Seymour, a six foot senior, puts the first one up and in. Seymour averaging two and a half points a game, shoots 60% from the line, makes it an 18 to six St. Anthony lead. That 12 point margin is their largest of the ball game. This one's up and in. So Seymour hits them both, he's got a couple. Six. Bulldogs up by 13 here, early in quarter two. Bringing it down is Mulvaney. Gets it in the corner to Sager. He can't shoot. Back out to Crakey. Now they toss it over on the side to Applegate. Bounce pass out front to Sager. Mulvaney. Trying to find the open man. There's a shot put up finally by Mulvaney. Climbs out. No good. Rebound boost for uh, Phillips. Clears it off to Weber. Brandon Weber brings it down for St. Anthony. Gets it to Wines. Mike Wines flips it out to Seymour. Seymour under the basket to Phillips. Can't shoot. Back out to Seymour from 16. No good. Rebound claimed by Sager. Sager has it. Gets it off to Crakey. Being hounded by Weber, but gets it across midcourt. Still on the dribble. Drives all the way and took an extra step. Three officials didn't see traveling, but the ball...
Inbounding the basketball will be Mulvaney looking. Oh, right underneath. Lowered his shoulder, man hit the deck, no whistle. Comes back out and Salem sets it up. Mulvaney working hard against Weber. Can't get the shot. Mulvaney has it out on the side. Flips it top of the key to Brewer, who's back in the ball game. Now they get it out to uh, Applegate, to Crakey. 19-6, the Bulldogs have put quite a run on Salem here. That scored them about 17-2 uh, in this stretch, I think. There's a move underneath, shot no good by Brewer. Rebound claimed loose on the floor. Kick forward, still no jump ball. It's finally cleared up by Salem. There's a long three-pointer good by Scott Murphy. Scott Murphy hits a three-pointer. Salem dodged a bullet there. Bulldogs had to rebound twice and lost it. All right, this is Wines on a three. In and out, no good. He hits the gap. There's no whistle. Wow, he got that part out there by Dustin Morris. Rebound goes to Salem. There's a reverse layup. No good. Shot put up by Murphy. Rebound cleared out by Wines, or by uh, Phillips. Phillips has a basketball. Flips it out front to Brandon Weber. 19 to 9, a 10 point lead for St. Anthony. They've got the basketball. Phillips puts it on the floor, leaves it with Buckler. Chris Buckler has it, and now a whistle. We've got a line for a hold on the side. <laughs> now, finally, Nathan Burr is going to shoot. He's cooled off, and he misses it. The rebound goes to Phillips. He clears it out for St. Anthony, gets it to Brandon Weber. Weber brings it down court for St. Anthony. Goes left side with it. No trouble with the dribble. Gets it off to Wines. Alley oop underneath to Phillips. Layup. Good. Nice move. And Phillips got inside. Wines hit him with a nice feed. And he puts it up and in. And now Salem nearly loses it in the corner, but they control a wild pass. They get it out front to Melvaney. He gets it over on the side to Murphy. Five minutes to go in the first half. Morris has it. Flips it to Mulvaney. In the corner. That's Brewer with it. Finally clears it out in front. Mulvaney out of the corner of three is no good by Kenton Applegate. His shot hit the rim, went up and hit the uh, supporting structure, and that makes it a dead ball, and it belongs to the Bulldogs. So, St. Anthony leading 21-9, 4.49 to go here in the first half, brings it down court. Chris Bockler has it. Bockler with uh, eight points so far in the ball game, takes it into the corner, looks for some help, fires it out to Wines, to Seamer, to Seamer, to Bockler for three, good again. Chris Bockler's got it in as he nails another three-pointer. And there is a block in front of they put Ethan Bryant into the ball game. I tried to get him in there earlier, and it wasn't him. Free throw is no good by Mulvaney. Loose ball goes out of bounds. I'll get it right in a minute. It's Daniel Thomason who came into the ball game. Now in is Bushu sitting down the seamer for St. Anthony with 4.22 to go in this sloppy first half. I, is that a correct term? I would classify it as pretty, pretty rugged sloppy. basketball. Pretty right rugged. Now. Not too sharp out here right now. Bulldogs lead 24 to 9. There's a pass inside. Morris hooks it up. And in. Dustin Morris, little quick shot underneath, has three. Quickly, St. Anthony brings it down. Winds for three, short, front of the rim. Rebound, Bockler. Spins it out of trouble for St. Anthony. Gets it to Wines. Leaves it with Bockler. Bockler spins down the paint. Nice feed to Bushu. Can't shoot. He's in trouble. Kicks it out to Bockler, and the Bulldogs have to set it up. Weber in the corner with it for St. Anthony. It's 24 to 11. Bockler another three. Good. Bockler's got the deal. He's got 14 here in the high. 27 to 11, and he's just hit nothing but net. I mean, he's not even touching the rim on these threes. Stolen away by Bushu. He stole the pass intended for Morris. The Bockler to Wines, and there's a tripping foul found on Nathan Brewer as Wines tried to go around him. He got called for the trip. John Bowles says, no way, that was not a trip. One and one is the situation, as that is the eighth foul now on Salem. Setting down is Nathan Brewer and into the ball game for Salem. Comes Daniel Thomason. Coach Bowles running him in and out pretty quick here. Wines with five points goes to the charity stripe. It's around and in. 
Wise has six. 3.29 to go in the first half. Bulldog basketball on KJ Country, WKJT, Topopolis Effingham, 102.3. Free throw winds, rattles and home. He's good. He's got seven. And it's 29 to 11. St. Anthony with the lead. And now Salem hustles it down court. This is Tyson Mulvaney with it. Into the corner. Flips it out top of the key to Thomason. Looking for some help. Goes left side to Sager. In the corner, they go with it to Mulvaney. Back out to Morris. Now they flip it to Sager on the side. And Sager has it. Leaves it in front of Murphy. Salem does a lot of uh, passing in their offensive scheme. Looking for the open shot. There's one taken by Thomason, and he hits a three. Daniel Thomason hits a three-pointer for Salem. Stephen Williams getting ready to come in for Salem. It's 29 to 14, St. Anthony. Wines gets it off to Weber. Takes a three, doesn't take it. Phillips underneath, needs some help. Kicks it back out to Weber. Back to Phillips in the corner. Looks for Wines underneath. Can't get it to him. Eric Jansen in the ballgame for St. Anthony has it now. And he throws it away with a pass intended for Weber, but he missed connections. Jansen came in for Bockler. Play at golf gym. St. Anthony up by 15, 29 to 14. This is Murphy with it, getting it across the timeline. Murphy goes baseline, looks for a shot, not there, kicks it out to Williams, and he hits it. So the 6'4 sophomore comes off the bench and hits a jumper from the baseline, and it's 29 to 16. Brandon Weber has it for St. Anthony, gets it to Jansen. Jansen looking for some help, gets it out front to Phillips. Phillips goes left side, hands it now to Weber. Just under two minutes to go. Brandon Weber drives, looking, nothing there. Gets it back out to Wines, inside to Bushu. Spins, stops from 10, no good. Loose ball, rebound cleared out of there by Stephen Williams. He kind of cleared a path by throwing an elbow to get himself a rebound there. <laughs> Gets it out front to uh, Mulvaney. Now they go in the corner with it. Murphy looking, nothing there. Takes it left side. Makes his move against Phillips, can't get in. Kicks it out to Sager. Left side, they go to Mulvaney. He feeds inside to Williams. He can't shoot. Back out front, it comes to Thomason. 18 to go. There's a shot put up and in by Tyson Mulvaney, and I think he got fouled on the play. Count the basket, says Greg Mullinax. The foul is on 35. That would be Brandon Weber. Tyson Mulvaney looking for a three-point play. It's 29 to 18. He left hands a toss up. It's no good. Rebound Bockler. Clears it out for St. Anthony. Chris Bockler hustles it down for the Bulldogs. Gets it to Wines. His jumper from the side is good. Wines pulls up and hits a jumper. He's got nine. Bockler with 14. So the one-two scores for St. Anthony are in that position here in the first half with less than a minute to go. Mulvaney kicks it on the side to Sager, goes baseline, nothing there. Back out top of the key to Murphy. He works against Phillips. Baseline fadeaway 12-footer, out, no good. Rebound lines. In trouble for St. Anthony. Clears it out to Bachman. Quickly down court to go to Storm. Underneath the bench. Nice pass from Storm to Bishu. Bishu made the layup and got fouled on the curve. 52 on the foul. That would be Stephen Williams. Came in late and got Bushu as he shot. The basket's good. It counts. Makes it 33 to 18. And now Seymour comes in, replacing Wines, who's got those two fouls. And Coach Niebuhr, he says, we're going to pick up a third here in the closing seconds of the first half. So Ryan Boucher looking for a three-point play. We've had several three-point attempts here tonight. By that, I mean a basket and a free throw. People getting fouled on shots. No good. Storm tips it deep, taken by Boucher. And the Bulldogs keep it alive. Storm has it. It's on the floor. <laughs> he takes a 30-second timeout instead of a turnover while they retain possession here and try to get the last shot and improve on a 33-18 lead if they can. Storm has it, gets it over to Bockler. Bockler with 20 seconds to go, kicks it off to Seymour. Seymour has it, bounce pass goes to Storm. Storm gets it to Bockler, glances at the clock, 14 seconds to go. Bockler has it, he may just move on his own here. Work one-on-one -on -one against Salem. Bockler goes left side, up on the jumper from three. Seven points for Bockler. He hits the three-pointer at the buzzer. St. Anthony steals.
steals the inbounds pass. Storm has it as Salem inbounded in the bad pass right off the get-go, and St. Anthony ends up with it. Storm takes it out on top of the key, goes left side with it, still has it, flips it out to Bockler. Bockler, looking for help, goes to Wines. His three's on the way. He's Wines' three is good, gives him 12, and he gets one of those opportunities at a rare four-pointer here. That foul on Sager was what, right? Eh? Is uh, Danny's uh, second foul. All right. So Wines hits the three, makes it 39 to 18. There's the free throw, no good. Wines misses, rebound goes to Weber, gets it to Boucher, and he drops it out of bounds. So Wines misses a free throw, doesn't happen too often. He's shooting 85% from the free throw line. Hadn't missed yet tonight. And that ball rebound ended up getting away. There's a pass in the corner, goes to mm, Applegate. His, uh, he passes back to, who made the shot? I think my head down the middle. I think 22 had the bucket there. Evan Cray Crakey, so Crakey makes the basket for Salem. Makes it 39 to 20. Bockler has it, shoots from two point range. This one's no good, rebound Crakey. Clears it out down court in a hurry. Gets it underneath. Sager, the shot goes up and they call Wines for a block. Sager put in a shot and he and Wines had a major league collision under the basket. Wines gets the foul. I have some friends in the officiating business who will probably scold me for saying that. Free throw's no good. Sager missed it. He came up short. <laughs> Still mopping up perspiration. Sager will try it and hit this free throw. 39 to 20, St. Anthony leads. 19 point Ed's a free throw, Sager, good. Rattles round, falls in, that's his first part of the right. And now a press applied by Salem. Let's see how the Bulldogs handle that. They get it to Wines at midcourt. A three on two to Bushu. Powers up to the left. Got hammered on the wrist. A shot don't go in, no whistle. Niebrigge's upset, Coach Niebrigge, because there was no whistle on that. And the rebound claimed by Evan Crakey, and Salem brings it down. You can see from here, he got whacked on the wrist as Bushu shot. And no whistle. Scott Murphy gets it out front to Crakey for three. It's no good. Weber got hammered on the wrist, and this time the whistle does blow as Sager picks up the first one. To go in the third quarter, Weber gets it into Storm. He brings it down court. He draws a double team at midcourt. Still goes down the side of the court. Good ball handling, and then he got fouled by Scott Murphy, who used the knee to try to force Storm out of bounds. At this rate, we're going to be shooting a lot of free throws in this second half. It's the third foul on Salem and two team fouls on St. Anthony. Wines takes it in bounds, flips it in the corner to Bockler. Back to Wines for a three. No good. Rebound Weber clears it out nicely for St. Anthony. Good offensive rebound, so he shoots a three from the corner. It's no good. Boucher gets it. Bounce pass in the corner to Bockler. St. Anthony sets up the offense. In the corner to Wines. Behind the three, shoots again. Got it. And a whistle, and we got a foul after the three. So count Wines three gives him 15. So that came after the Wines hit the three-pointer. How many threes does St. Anthony hit? About eight? That is, That was number eight, right? Number eight. Cranky has it. Goes in the corner with it to Mulvaney. Oh, there he is. Tyson Mulvaney just lowered his shoulder and covered Derek Storm uh, to heck, and he didn't get by with it. It's a pass, a turnover for Salem. <laughs> Mercy. A tad physical, to say the least. Storm gets it to Bockler. <laughs> Bockler in the corner to Wines. Wines underneath, tries to go to Booker to Phillips, and it got away and stolen by Salem, so the Bulldogs turn it over. Two quick turnovers for him, and now Storm gets punched by Sager away from the ball. No whistle, no nothing. They just let him bump and run. And Salem keeps it alive and runs the offense. Crakey has it in the corner. Wines steals it. Gets it to Storm. Nice play by Storm to get around the defensive man. Takes it on the side to Weber, shoots a three. Square Mall, a delightful place to shop. Applegate's in the ball game. He gets it to Crakey, and Salem brings it down court after John Bowles won at the timeout. Sager all the way for the layup, and he got it. Donnie Sager, a nice baseline move, gets the uh, basket. Eric 
Jansen in the ball game, inbounds it. At midcourt, they go to Wines. Now they get it to Weber. Weber slows it down for St. Anthony. Bulldogs lead 45-23. Bockler's got it on the side for the Bulldogs. Goes left side. Nice feed inside to Phillips. Got hammered. Shot goes up no good, and he got fouled a second time by Mulvaney. He got fouled earlier by one of the other Wildcats. And... Uh, this time he gets hammered, and uh, he was found in the act of shooting. He's going to shoot two. And that was Sager's four. Phillips' free throw is in and out. No good. He'll try again. Seymour comes in for one. Justin Morris comes in for Donnie Sager. And Daniel Thomason comes in for Nathan Brewer in the Salem lineup. Meanwhile, Phillips goes back to the line for the second of his two. He missed the first one. 4.49 to go here in our third quarter. This one's good by Phillips. Aaron's got three. Makes it 46 to 23. Quickly, the Wildcats bring it down. Craigie goes baseline. Gets it out front. Thomason, he can't shoot. Off to Mulvaney. Mulvaney tries to lob to a teammate. Eric Jansen steals it. Turn over Salem. Jansen heads down court for St. Anthony. Fires it to Barkley for three. No good. Long rebound goes to Brandon Weber. Out to Seymour. Seymour travels. Seymour saw an opening down the paint, started to go for it. Forgot to dribble. Turnover number, turnover number three on Bulldog in this quarter. 4.23 to go. Mulvaney hustles it down. Weber works against him. Now they get it out front to Thomason. Now to Crakey for a long three, and he hit it. Evan Crakey's got five as he hits a long three-pointer. They hustle at midcourt to Phillips. He dumps it off on the side to Weber in the corner to Jansen. Jansen for St. Anthony, back to Weber. Bockler's open for three, and John Bowles stops his foot, says get a hand on him. They don't, he nailed it, he's got 20, and that's his sixth three-pointer of the game. 49 to 26, out of the corner, a three on the way, no good by Applegate. Rebound goes to Phillips, so yeah, there's Seymour. Seymour gets it across safely, now slows it up, leaves it out front with Brandon Weber, and Weber twists his ankle or knee and falls to the court. And uh, he limps to the bench, and that's already out there, so... Derek Storm gets the ball inbounds to Bockler in the corner, fires it back out to Storm. Storm sets it up for the Bulldogs, gets it to Eric Jansen. Jansen, top of the key, gets it off to Storm. Storm drives baseline, still drives to the left. Nice penetration. Derek Storm's got six. Nice layout, 51-26. Mulvaney goes baseline, and Bockler snatches it out of the air. Bockler quickly gets it down to Storm. He goes for the layup, then he got fouled by Mulvaney. What a steal by St. Anthony. Bockler just stole that one-handed out of the air and flips it down court in a hurry, and now a foul on number 43, Tyson Mulvaney, and they take Weber to the dressing room. They went to the get some ice a moment ago to put on the ankle. So Derek Storm at the free throw line for St. Anthony. His first one is up and in. Storm's got seven. 39 21. That would be Ethan Bryant and Matthew Hawkins comes in for Salem. Sitting down is Mulvaney and Crakey. John Bowles makes a couple of subs. It's 52 26 Bulldogs. We got three minutes to go in the third quarter. Actually, 3 09. Next free throw by Storm is good. He's got eight. Storm's straight up. Excellent ball game tonight, I think, for St. Anthony. Bringing it down in the corner, they get it to Hawkins. Hawkins gets it out front. Here's a three on the way by Applegate, and he hits it. Kitten Applegate gets a three-pointer, makes it 53 to 29. Seymour hustles it down court. Bockler got it to him, and now they get it to Storm. Storm has it for St. Anthony, gets it on the side to Seymour. To Phillips. Way over on the right side. Aaron Phillips makes a move down the paint. Dumps it on the side to Bockler. His layup, no good. Rebound to go down to there by Bryant. Bryant hustles it down court to Hawkins. He goes for the layup and he scores. Matthew Hawkins on a nice baseline drive for Salem. 53 to 31. And again, they put pressure on St. Anthony, and there's a hook. That's clear in this break, so the Bulldogs. Back to near full strength. The free throw is good by Storm. Gives him nine points. Makes it 54 to 31 with 2.22 to go in the third period. 
This is the Bulldogs' final game until the Charleston Holiday Tournament. They'll take on undefeated Casey Westfield up there. That ought to be a dandy. Storm misses. Tipped out of there by Seaver to Storm. Bockler gets it to Wines. Open for a three. No good. Front of the rim. Rebound hustled. Saved by St. Anthony. They get it in the corner to Seaver. Stolen there by Bryant, but he can't hang on to it. So the Bulldogs do some scrambling to keep that one alive. And they retain possession. Back into the ballgame, Nathan Drewer comes in, setting down Dustin Morris. Morris has got a lot of playing time. He didn't start, but he's seen a lot of action for Salem. Wines will inbound for St. Anthony, gets it into Storm to Seamer. They flip it on the side to Wines, back out in front to Seamer. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Storm's got it on the baseline, has trouble with it, stolen away, regained there by Seamer, who calls timeout before he steps out of bounds. All you work for, nobody does it better than your neighborhood state farm. Like a good neighbor, state farm is he's missed one free throw, hasn't he, Greg? He's, uh, yeah, he scored for five more. Uh, he makes that one. He's got 16. We're going to see Doug Waltman get into the game here for St. Anthony, I believe. At least he's coming down talking to the coach. Doug's dressing, I believe, for his first varsity game. Free throw good by Wines. He hits again. He's got 17. So Doug Waltman may get some uh, varsity experience here. He had a good JV game tonight. It's 56 to 31. St. Anthony leads. There's a jumper rejected by Bushu. He got his hands on it. And uh, it's claimed by Salem. Now they get it to Brewer, who stutter steps his way. Shot from out court, no good by Murphy. Rebound taken by St. Anthony. Bockler gets it on the baseline to Seymour. Seymour gets it out to Wines. Mike Wines with a minute 26 to go in the quarter. Heads underneath. Loses a ball. It's tripped. Oh, we got a foul up on the floor. Loose ball. Scrambles on. We're going to jump it out. I think they blew the whistle for fear somebody get hurt. Seymour said that. All right. Storm's got it for St. Anthony. Eric Storm gets it off to Wines. Wines out in front to Wolfman. Gets it on the side to Storm. Storm clears it out of trouble. Gets it to Bockler. To Wolfman. Wolfman underneath. They get it to Storm. Storm shoots for two. In and out. No good. Wines on the rebound. And they got fouled. Hooked over the arm. Wines claimed that offensive board. And got fouled by... Matthew Hawkins, his third, his third. <laughs> he just checked in, and he's got three fouls, and he's going to check out. So is Bryant as they send back in Evan Crakey and Tyson Mulvaney. Well, John Bowles wanted to give those starters a breather, and he said, you guys go in and mix it up. Matthew Hawkins did. Jake Nieberge is going to come in for St. Anthony. He does. He comes in for Chris Bockler here with 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. So Coach Nieberge making sure some guys don't pick up some unnecessary fouls with 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's 56 to 31. Wines free throw is good. Mike's got 18. Also coming in is 6'8", senior Aaron Weber. He's coming in for Ryan Bushu. So anybody with more than a couple of fouls is getting to set out here at the end of the third quarter. Meanwhile, winds back to the line, has 18. His free throw attempt is up and good. He rolled it in. He's got 19. Makes it 58 to 31. And Salem hustles it down court. Scott Murphy has it left side, goes in the corner with it. Mulvaney. Here's a three on the way by Thomason. Rims in and out. No good. Good follow up though by Scott Murphy. His first points of the second half. He had five to lead him at intermission. He got the rebound basket. Storm gets it off to Wines with 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Back out to Storm. Off to Jake Neighbor. He is St. Anthony. Waits for the last shot of the quarter. Waltman has it. Off to Storm. 25 seconds to go to Jake Neighbor. He turns and shoots. It's out. No good. Rebound goes to Mulvaney. Quickly down court. They almost lose it. Finally, they clear it out to Frakey. He shoots a long three. No good. Yeah! Evans bounced up and ground and fell in. I apologize. He shoot all the way. Storm with four seconds to go. Shoots. It's in and out. No good. Weber puts it up at the buzzer. No good. That's the end of the third quarter. Good today at Dairy Queen. 1411 South Banker in Effingham. 
Salem's ball on the alternate position as we start our final quarter of play. Mulvaney has it, kicks it out to Crakey, open for another three, no good this time, way off the mark. Loose ball, put up, rebound attempt, put up by Nathan Brewer, and he got hammered by Aaron Weber. Here comes the first string back in, but they can't come in yet until we shoot uh, first of two free throws. 7.45 left in this one. Free throw up by Brewer's good. He's got four. In comes Bockler, Bushu, and Phillips sitting down as Weber, Waltman, and Niebergy. That's what the coach wants out of those guys is a few minutes to give the starters a breather. And spell the starters. Spell them and uh, don't let uh, the opposition get any closer. <laughs> Brewer's second free throw is good. He's got five, makes it a 58-37 ball game now. Phillips gets it in to Storm, and Salem puts a lot of pressure on, and Storm finally comes out of there with it. Storm flips it on the baseline to Bachler. St. Anthony, one pass too many that time, and they got a travel call on it. John Bowles thought that Storm stepped out of bounds down here in front of the bench, and he was more than happy to point that out to the official, but he wouldn't. He said, no, I don't think so. All right, Mulvaney brings it down for Salem. St. Anthony outscored him 22 18 in quarter. There's a hook shot put up, no good by Seeger, but the rebound's good by Nathan Brewer. He's got seven, and Salem cuts it to an 18 point ball game. That's as close as they've been for a while. Phillips has it underneath, nothing there, so he's open and shoots. It's long, no good. Lines takes it out of midair, fires it out front to Storm, and the Bulldogs set it up offensively. Wines has got a lot of rebounds in this ball game tonight. Wines has it, gets it out to Phillips. Phillips has it, get away from him, and knocked out of bounds by Salem. Good hustle by Mulvaney, and Aaron Phillips will inbound it on the side of the court. He gets it into Storm. Storm gets it off to Phillips. Phillips takes it right side. And a five-second count is called. Phillips didn't penetrate within the allotted time while being guarded. And it is a turnover on the Bulldogs as they cough it up on a five-second count. Now Salem's basketball to inbounds, and St. Anthony puts a little pressure on them. It's an 18-point ball game here. Frankie's got it out front. Works the baseline, can't shoot. Fires it nicely underneath the Sager. Stolen away by St. Anthony. Bushu ahead to Bockler. Bockler gets, oh, man, that's got to be intentional, doesn't it? Why wow, did he get clobbered? Mulvaney hammered him as he started to make his first step towards the basket. Just crunched him across the back. And they say, no, it is not intentional. That's what some of the St. Anthony fans were wanting. But Mr. Bockler goes to the free throw line. Fifty-eight to forty. Six thirty-one to go. Free throw by Bockler's good. Chris has twenty-one on the night. In comes Matthew Hawkins. Sitting down is Evan Crakey. Bockler's next free throw is good. He's got twenty-two. 60 to 40, St. Anthony by 20. Six and a half minutes left in this one. Mulvaney brings it down for the Wildcats. Gets, him, gets it out front, Pat Cody Travel. Matthew Hawkins has it. Gets it on the side to Murphy. Sager. Sager squirms, left hand layup short. Rebound goes to Phillips, falls down with it. We got a tripping foul on Sager. And that may be five. Aaron has three points on the night. Free throw up and no good. He'll try again. 60 to 40. Bulldogs on top. Phillips next one. Good. Phillips has got four. 61 to 40. Bulldogs by 21. Salem now runs the offense. Here's a three on the way by Hawkins. No good. Gets his own rebound. It's loose on the floor and claimed finally by Salem. Here's a three on the way out of the corner. Is no good by Thomason. This rebound goes to Wines. He throws it long to Phillips. Phillips drives to the left. And he got it. It's got to be intentional. Man. He was 
just covered while he was in the air, and he landed up against the stage. Fortunately, everybody, why did they put it in the books if you aren't going to enforce it? Phillips to the line. His free throw is good. Phillips has five. Sixty-two to forty. Phillips hits again. He's got six. Sixty-three to forty. Mulvaney brings it down. Gets it in the corner to Hawkins. Hawkins looks for shooting. Real nice move on the move, and he got it. Matthew Hawkins off the bench has four. Storm brings it down for St. Anthony. Works against Hawkins. Double team gets it off to Chris Bachler. Bachler gets it to Phillips. Underneath they get it to. Storm, he's covered, so out to Bachler, to Wines. St. Anthony running the little clock here, 5.17 to go, and there's a reach-in foul on Hawkins. He's going to join Sager on the bench here pretty soon. That's his fourth. Derek Storm will go to the free throw line. Timeout, Salem. They want a timeout, so it's a full 60. We'll be back in a minute, five now. Storm at the line has nine. Bulldogs up by 21. His toss is good. Storm in double figures with 10. St. Anthony's free throw shooting overall has been pretty good tonight, hasn't it, Greg? Yes, it has. They are 16 of 19 going to this fourth quarter. Storm just hits another one. He's got 11. 65 to 42. Mulvaney has it. Flips it on the side. There's a jumper by Murphy, way out short, taken out of the air by Bushu. Off to Storm, slows it up now for St. Anthony. They set up the offense. On the side, it goes to Bachler. <coughs> Chris Bachler drives, penetrates, double team, nothing there. Floats it on the other side to Storm. Out to Lines, off to Phillips. Phillips gets it out front to Storm, now to Bachler. Bachler double team, dribbles out of trouble. Looks underneath, no one there, so takes it himself and banks it home. Bachler's got 24. Every time Bachler touches the ball, John Bowles stops the floor. Someone cover him, someone cover him. Mulvaney underneath, rejected by Bushu. Taken out of the air by Bachler. Double team gets it to Wines, who heads down court. Ahead to Phillips. Phillips slows it up, needs some help, gets it out in front to Bachler. Open on three. Good! 27 points for Chris Bachler. I think he's missed one three tonight, hasn't he? Something like that. 70 to 42. Down the paint. Shot put up no good by Thomason. Rebound goes to Bachler. Clears it down court to Storm. St. Anthony ahead. They go to Bushu. He drives for the layup, and he missed it. Rebound Mulvaney. Mulvaney down court. Ahead it goes to Thomason. He goes underneath trying to get it to Brewer, but he bobbled the pass, and it's intercepted by Phillips. Now it's getting really ragged. 70 to 42. There's a pass to Bachler. Bachler spins it out of trouble, shoots a two. Good, he banked that one home. Mercy six. Bachler's on fire. He's got 29 points. 326 to go. 72 to 42. On the left side, it goes to Bryant. Tipped away by Simple, but regained. And now Brian Simple picks up a foul on a reach in as he tries to get the steal. 318 left into the Charleston tournament at seven and one. That one loss at the hands of Charleston in the only Thanksgiving tournament. There's a pass out front. Long three by Applegate, no good. Eric Jansen grabs a rebound for the Bulldogs. Hustles it down court. He's double teamed. He loses it and gets it back. Nice hustle to Kerner under the basket. Wide open, Seamer lay up good. Nice pass by Eric Jansen. Matt Seamer's got four. Good luck for the Bulldogs to find the open man. They get it out front to Bryant. His three is no good. Rebound goes to Semple. St. Anthony hustles the other way. 2.52 to go, and there's a push at midcourt on Scott Murphy. He pushed Brian Semple. It may be the 20 of them. <laughs> Brian Simple to the free throw line misses. He'll try again. <clears throat> now into the ball game, Dustin Morris. He's been standing down there for an eternity. Sitting down is Kenton Applegate. Oh, 
Simple's free throw. Good this time. So Brian Simple gets his first point. And it's 75 to 42, St. Anthony. Ethan Bryant has it for the Wildcats. Gets it out front to Evan Crakey. Crakey penetrates, forces one up, no good. Rebound, scramble for it, taken in there by Nathan Ford as he tried to put up a shot. He got fouled. He'll shoot two. The game that wouldn't end.